If you want to present your slide as a kiosk rather than a presentation itself, you can actually go to slide uh, setup slide so. So whenever uh, this is actually full screen, it does not go to the presenter view, but directly on the kiosk mode itself, and it is full screen. So for that, I'm going to go into setup slide so right here. So let me just click on that, and here. Uh, there's presented by a speaker full screen presented by an individual this was the default settings that we did and there's browse at a kiosk right there so now my powerpoint slide it will actually be full screen right here so you can show without animation and so without narration as you can see right here you can disable hardware acceleration if you're on a low end pc and so forth so you can also select the number of slides that you want to display right here and you can also enable just the custom show right here. Let's say I want to enable that for custom show just public because that is what I want to set the slide up as. So I'm, I can press OK. And usually when I go for the custom slide show, a um, lot of information kiosk, I may want the slide to uh, go by itself. I may not want it to um, want to click it because I want it to keep on displaying. So for that, I'm going to go into transitions right here. And for all of the slides, I'm going to add in an after. Uh, I want to add in the on mouse click and I may want to add an after as well. So let's say I want uh, two seconds of time for each of the slide right here. And once I do that, if I were to go to presentation mode right now, it'll actually go on to uh, the slide itself and it'll actually go forth. And you can see that the custom slide source setting is actually applied right here. So that is how it actually goes and it repeats itself as you can see because I'm in information kiosk mode and it'll repeat itself. So if you want to have a digital billboard or something that you want to keep on displaying menus or something then this is a great way to do so because it is interesting. Uh, the users can interact it so if I were to click on it it'll actually go right here. If I were to click on it then it'll actually go on as well. So you can go back as well. So. Uh, just like that. Uh, it works as information information kiosk. So, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.